What's up, my dudes? Holy shit, an RTS game. What the hell's going on, Spencer? <laughs> okay, let me explain something to you guys. I'm actually a really big fan of all games out there. I know it can get very twisted and confused because I just make a lot of MX Simulator videos and stuff like that, but I actually really do enjoy all kinds of video games out there, man, and I'm just trying to get into some different stuff here. I'm still going to be uploading the MX Simulator just as much as I always have. It's not going to change at all. Just doing some different stuff, just trying to have some fun on something else as well because these are the kind of games that I enjoy. I just don't really ever show them on YouTube. So um, this is Total War Warhammer 2, which is pretty new. And I actually didn't know about any of these Total War uh, games at all, which is crazy that I never, I never even found them because I love these sort of like, uh, like RTS style games where you're like, you know, you're controlling these smaller armies and units and stuff like that. I, I get off to that shit, dude. I mean, I love the, those kind of games. They just, there's something about them that's really cool. So, let me see if I can. So we've got a maximum amount of raptors that you can possibly have in one army here. Let me go ahead and try to group these up a little bit so that it's a little bit easier to manage here. Um, it can be, this game, pretty massive in scale on what you can do with armies and stuff. Whenever you compare this game to like a um, StarCraft, for instance, this is a lot more just like, army based you know what I mean you're not really building a base you just have massive armies against other massive armies and that's kind of how that works so you know it's not it's not like a typical RTS game in the sense of basically you've got like um, you know you start out in a base and you have your builders and you build all these different buildings and then those things are spitting out your units that's not really what what this is this is more of like a you know you're building a giant army or whatever kind of army you want to make and then you're just fighting that against another army basically you know um very simplistic in design but there's pretty much unlimited possibilities so let's go ahead and try to lay these puppies out a little bit here uh yeah let's just try to get them all right here it can be a bit confusing trying to manage this many units at one time let me just try to at least get them all right here in this general vicinity and then i will hopefully be able to just put them in one big pack here okay yes something like that all right so right off the bat two things that i wish that would be changed in this game is make it to where you didn't have to have one of these lords whenever you, um, you know, had an army. I wish you wasn't so forced to have one. Even though they're cool as shit, I just wish it wasn't so, like, forced down your throat on these custom battles because it's a custom battle. <laughs> you know, I feel like you should be able to do anything. You should be able to have, like, literally just one one unit of raptors versus whatever. You know, I, it just kind of seems silly that you have to have a lord in there. But... The other thing I wish is that you can make it to where, since it's such a, like, unit army-based game, I feel like you should be able to have, like, one unit, like, you control every single unit individually instead of in, like, groups like this. But I feel like you should be able to group up as many individual units as you want. Like, so, for instance, I feel like I should be able to take, like, three three individual raptors and send those dudes like off this way and then take like you know a normal group of them which is 32 take those and send those off this way and like you know you're actually dealing with each individual unit um i feel like that would just make the game a little bit better but i'll i'll be turning off the uh the actual HUD, the UI here, to show you guys some close-ups and stuff. This A really cool thing about these games is the fact that you come in here and, like, you build your army in sort of a, like, a standby mode, you know? So you're not, you're not like, playing right away. You're, you're basically forming your army here, 
and you're able to go down here and look at every single thing you got going on before the, the battle even starts. So I think that's just amazing about the game. You can come in here really close to these units. <laughs> I mean, look at this, dude. Like, that's the closest thing to a raptor in this game. They're actually called feral cold ones. And um, they have a crap load of different variations of, like, this is just a standard, very, very standard one. Um, they do have, like, all different levels of riders. Do, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can put different uh, things on the back of these dudes and different armor levels of them. And it just goes through the tiers. But it, it's really more of, like, what you would call, like, a baby T-Rex. But it's the closest thing they have to a raptor, so that's kind of where we're at here. Uh, um, doesn't really matter at this exact point in time. Let's go ahead and start the battle. I'm going to... Um, so I'm facing up against the high elves here. They got a tight little group of... Um, what I have set up here is the basic infantry and like three units of archers. And then they have one hero. So, yeah, I should be able to steamroll these dudes, but I could get whooped. You know, there's there's no telling because you're. it's really hard to base, like, what you're going to be able to do in this game um, before you do it because of, um, just because of, like, the sheer scale of it, like, the nature of how, how big the battles truly are, you know. That's how, that's why it's so hard to be able to tell what you're actually going to be able to do, um, Okay, I'm going to send the Lord right there. So, let's go over here. Let's check out all these raptors coming across. Oh, dude, this map is just sick, too. Look at this, dude. Oh, that's awesome. Just flooding through. And a really cool thing about this game, too, is you can do this slow-mo version. So, what you can do is, like, let me try to get over here. Oh, uh, check this out. Slow-mo, baby. What's up? Those raptors are going in, dude. Oh, wow. That does look sick. Just the, the high amount of detail. It's got like a, a true AAA detail to all these units, I think is what's a really cool thing about it. And just the fact that they're so... They got all these little extra tactics. Oh, shit, they're already shooting stuff. They got all these little extra tactics, like your units can actually get exhausted and tired. They can get scared and run away. <laughs> There's like all these different things, you know. It's not just as simple as like units fighting other units. Um, okay, let's go ahead and put this on play. Oh, God. Raptors are coming in. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, here they are. Here they go. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, look at that. Do they basically steamroll these uh, these standard infantry units of the high elves here? So they're really trying to hold up their defenses. Oh, dude, that's awesome. <laughs> I mean, you can see these these feral cold ones. They act very similar to raptors. That's basically why I'm call I keep calling them raptors, just because you can see how they're like jumping around and shit. Like that's exactly how a raptor would act. Um, it's actually pretty cool. All right, let's zoom out just a little bit, tilt this puppy down. So I got these dudes over here chasing a uh, the archers. Oh, that's a smart tactic, dude. Oh, God. They added the blood and gore DLC, so now you're seeing all this blood and heads getting ripped off and stuff like that. <laughs> Look at the... They keep throwing them. Dude, I, oh, my God. I got to pause this shit. I got to slow motion. Oh, slow motion for me. Move it. Slow motion for me. <laughs> I said, uh... Okay, let's see. I want to see slow motion of one of them picking. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no. I've got, see, I haven't really learned all of the little um, the little camera movements. It can be difficult with this game. It's not, it's not quite as standard camera movements as you might think. It's a lot different than, like, StarCraft or um, any of those sort of games. You know, it's, it's quite a bit different how this game works. But, I mean, you can just see, like, there's a real need for a slow motion mode just simply because of how many, like, units, you know, are on screen at one point in time. It's just insane. Um, so, this is what we got going. A lot of times, you're, like, not even really controlling the units. You're just, whoa, dude. You're just, like, looking at what's going on, you know. Um, and the different animations of every single unit, that's another thing, you know, it's... It's not just like basic stuff. Um, 
I just can't get over them throwing those units like a blood trail. Uh, it's just crazy how how every single unit, you know, you could put like a giant unit and it would actually be picking up other units um, and throwing them down on the ground and, and stuff like that. So it's just, it's crazy cool how they have that, all those different mechanics in there. Okay, let's see if we can get to some actual gameplay here. Let's put this thing back on play. Now, one thing that is kind of crazy about this game is the fact that, you know, all of your units basically just sit here if you don't, like, actually tell them to move to a different place. Like, if, if they get stuck in a wall like this, they have a very hard time actually getting, like, the units in the back trying to move. Like, units don't just naturally move around the enemy. Um, they basically just stick in, like, <laughs> like, look at all these units that aren't doing anything back here. You know, uh, that's, that's kind of one thing that happens with this game, which, I mean, it, it all depends on how you look at it. But, you know, you could look at that as a super tactic style thing where... You really got to know how to place your units in a widespread formation to be able to get maximum damage on something. But like what I'm doing right here with these raptors, um, having them come around. Like if I have these dudes come around and attack the backside of these spearmen, then basically all that's going to do um, is just make those spearmen turn around and be attacking me from the back. So, I mean, even though I'm basically trapping them here... I mean, they're, they're still turning around and attacking. You know, if you only had, like, one row of units, that would really be benefiting you. But um, the, there also is the whole side of, like, where you're, you've got all this... Um, the units have all their different emotions. That's what's crazy about it. You know, like, if you do attack them from behind, then they get, like, this... They're surprised and, and all this kind of stuff um, that starts to happen... Uh, and they get shaken and frightened and all these different things. So even though, you know, it may not seem like you're really doing much more by doing this, like, attack from the back tactic, like doing a circling tactic, it is doing more than you think. But units don't just automatically do that. You know what I'm saying? They don't just naturally do that. Like, if you just send a really big pack of units in, they're just going to, like, sort of wad up in a sense. Um, so that's something that happens. But I do need to send some raptors over here to these archers for sure <laughs> it was so funny like the the standard archer units they naturally run away uh in their normal skirmish mode but what's funny about it is these raptors are actually faster so they, they can still catch them pretty easily um like those archers are actually acting pretty stupid right now they should have just went ahead and started shooting um because i mean i'm gonna catch them either way you know so it's kind of one of those things like um Check this out, though. In the trees, dude. Stampede, baby. <laughs> uh, that, them adding the lizard men, basically like just a complete dinosaur race, that that was awesome, dude. And then the scaven combined with that. Oh, dude. That's sick. Because they basically have all of your standard races, like orc, three races of elves, or three factions of elves. Um, you've got humans, you know, goblins, which is kind of with the orcs. Um, so you basically got all those, like, standard sort of factions, but it's cool that... See, look at this right here, dude. All those dudes are just sitting there. Like, what? <laughs> what are you doing? Come on, now. Let's circle around. So, that's one thing about it that makes it really different from, like, a... A StarCraft or a Lord of the Rings Battle from Middle Earth or something like that. You know, you really do have to control every single one of your units. They don't just naturally... I mean, they'll naturally attack... But they're not just going to like naturally like move in the formations that you want them to if you don't tell them to do that. So um, the thing about these archer units is they do actually have swords as well that they can pull out. So, um, But you can see how good that's doing for them. <laughs> I mean, you know, they're like, oh shit, we're getting out of here, dude. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool how you basically have a Jurassic Park RTS all of a sudden. Um, let's send these, all these puppies back. Some of these puppies back. Yeah, these guys need to, uh, kind of be running around. So if you see what's going on in the background, basically these, these raptors, like, they either get tired or they get scared or something, and they run out 
and then they run back in. I think that's a lot more common with the Lizardmen because they almost have this tactic of like um, where they're almost uncontrollable because they're just beast. Like how do you control all of these beasts? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So they kind of have that little vibe to them that's a little bit different. Uh, let's do the uh, Comet. I love this move right here, dude. Looks awesome. Let's try to do this thing slow motion. Let's see what this thing looks like, dude. Okay, okay. So this is a Lord Power right here. Oof. It's going to just straight up demolish that whole patch of units. It's going to really hurt their infantry line right here. Oh, that kind of shot to the left a little bit. It still hit them pretty good, though. So that's creating a hole now. So now we've got both of their units split. That's a really good, really good tactic formation right there. So now they're basically completely surrounded to a certain extent on all sides. So they really have no battle lines anymore. Yeah, they're pretty much fucked at this point. <laughs> I think I made this battle maybe slightly too easy. But uh, I really wanted to be able to actually somewhat steamroll them a little bit. Um... For my first battle on here because I know sometimes when you get it you know you get it a little bit more even I mean it those battles last forever because you're just you're sitting there killing units like that just non-stop um, but we'll get a lot more closer battles here in the future for sure um, there's gonna be some battles that I lose I know that <laughs> because I'm not like super expert at this game yet I'm learning though I'm figuring it out you know it's a uh, it's just like a super um, massive micromanagement. Well, how are those, what the, f how are they shooting arrows in? I thought I had all those units over there. Maybe I don't. Come on, boys. Get with the program. I just love the raptor charge. And also the units have different run speeds, which is pretty insane. That, um, And I think that does actually affect how tired they get as well. So that's like enough. That's just so many layers to the game that the units actually have, like like emotions and you know different stuff. Oh, there is one over here still. Like these these archer units just don't stand a freaking chance against these raptors, like at all. I mean they that it's just it's it's almost laughable. Like it's almost hilarious. What is this white? Oh, those dudes are running way off. So I guess I have... What's going on back over here? I have a whole unit, a whole gang of them just chilling. Oh, you dudes not trying to battle today? Okay. <laughs> I can't really blame you. <laughs> but, I mean, you are a raptor. You do need to eat. Come on now. Oh, we could totally sideswipe these dudes. So there is a certain element where the, um, the enemy can sort of run off of the map. Like when they get really scared. So there's so many different like elements to this game that I don't fully understand yet. Like some battles you can battle it to the bitter end, and some battles it only lets you battle it so far, and then it basically just quits the battle. So that kind of happens. Um, but yeah, what? Why are? Let's send those right here. Oh, dude, they're gonna steamroll. Let's watch this. <laughs> oh, it just cracks me up. It's like you're just totally slaying. Uh, just think if you were actually these elves, like, against that many freaking raptors, dude. It's just insanity. Straight up insanity. These dudes are probably over here walking. You guys know how lazy they are. No, they're running. So you've got, like, hidden elements. You've also got, I, I just can't even, like, speak about this game because there's so much stuff to it. You know what I mean? Like, there's just so much to this game, it's hard to just talk about it in one video extremely difficult um those raptors are doing biz over there i think this is gonna let me duke it out to the bitter end i don't know why it really should have probably already ended at this point i mean obviously it kind of gets to a point where like they can't win um you know what i mean but their forces are over here i don't know why all my raptors were Kind of going that way. They still have a little bit of a, a tiny little force here. Okay. So it finally gave me the victory even though the, the battle's not completely over. But like I said, I have done battles where, you know, you battle it to the bitter end. So I don't know what actually 
if anybody can tell me that in the comments, I'll appreciate that quite a bit. If anybody can tell me what what actually differentiates being able to battle till the bitter end, like all the units gone versus like, or they run off the map versus like this thing where it ends it early. What differentiates that? Like, is it when you do the, there's so many different options on like the different battles that you can do. Like for instance, you can, um, you can do like a siege battle, you can do like a land battle, underground battle, all that kind of stuff. Um, is it just like on certain maps? I mean, what actually, is it certain units? <laughs> what actually causes that? Like, I don't really understand that, you know? Um, but either way, so yeah, I'm going to be doing quite a few more of these Total War Warhammer 2 videos here with a bunch of different factions and different crazy things, uh, certain units versus other units, that kind of thing. So, um, and they'll also be coming out with DLC for Total War Warhammer 2. I do recommend you guys buying this game. I actually saw this on an uh, Angry Joe video. Uh, I hadn't, I'd seen this game before, but just very, very briefly. I didn't realize you could come in here and do these really cool, big, custom battles like this. Um, I think that's just so awesome when these games actually add that sort of stuff. Um, I get more joy out of doing these custom battles than I do, like, the actual campaigns of them. Um, I know a lot of people really love the campaigns in this game, and that's usually what they show, but the custom battle aspect of it is what, what I really love. Like, you can just do whatever you want to do, man. <laughs> it's just so cool in this game. So, either way, I appreciate you guys watching all the videos. Later, dudes.